uh, you're actually, uh, I've known Craig for three years. You've known him for quite some time. Yeah. Uh, you guys have been called to play this benefit. How does it make you feel to try to, you know, do something good for a buddy of yours? Anything oh. and everything we can do to help out Craig and his family. I mean, he's an integral part of the Memphis music scene. And, sure. Uh, it's just a tragedy that he actually will probably never be able to play guitar again. Yeah. And, um, I've been talking with Jacob and everybody else that used to be within the balance in 1129, and uh, their love and everything else is going out towards Craig and his family at this point in time. I'm not really sure how he's doing at the moment, but from what I've heard, he was paralyzed on the right side, and he's lost his ability to speak. So... Uh, Keep him in prayer soon. Absolutely. And again, that's why I think, you know, this local scene has, over the last three years, I think has come to be extremely tight, you know, and I think this is an excellent cause. Again, you guys uh, are really strong was once an up-and-coming band now i think a pretty established band in this market uh on to play this show you guys pretty stoked about it though i mean overall, oh, yeah, yeah. Very you know it's, it's got a good vibe i think it's pretty much a uh, pretty hardcore night uh but again uh seven dollars you know starts at eight o'clock all these bands what are you guys going to bring to the stage on a friday night the daisy everything and everything we possibly can <laughs> gonna play the bass in your face and make you want to the bass in your face when you know ice and <laughs> yo <laughs> I think um, we, I think we want like the passion of the whole show to kind of be attributed to how he used to play and you know what he did within the balance so we want the energy to be high so we're definitely going to bring it that way we want intense. everyone intense yeah. and to feel exactly the things that he loved about music and how he wrote and things like that we sure. want everyone to be in that so i mean it's, it's a good way. it's also a good relief thing with everything yeah. that's going on in the city a lot of people you guys have power no. 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 you guys can sleep up here you know i charge you 50 bucks a night you know it's not a bad idea um, no you, will you cuddle with me you lick my arm? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I mean, it's kind of a little bit of relief of what's going on. There's a show, you know, again, you pay. Yeah, everybody come out and party. I mean, why not? You got nothing else to do. It's an exactly. hour. It's, 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 you know, some people still aren't going to have power for days. You know? Which is all the more reason why they should come to the Daisy, because there will be something to do. I mean, There'll be beer. Beer, 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 lots of beer. You know, music, and, there's, and there's the excitement that that 400-foot, you know, crane could fall on us. So it makes it the whole, <laughs> as you, you guys know, <laughs> the they stabilized it. And have, if it's been taken care of. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little Mike, below right now. Mike said behind. today that the show must go on. The show and, must go on. Uh, well, anything, anything to help Craig and his family. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Very Beer's cool. Good. Very, very cool. So again, uh, real quick, a recap. Uh, this Friday, a benefit show for Craig. Uh, the new Daisy doors at seven o'clock. Show starts at eight. Seven dollar cover. Mrs. Fletcher, eleven twenty nine. Reunion barcode in the balance reunion. We'll have some of these other bands in uh, later in the week. Uh, Patient Zero on the side. These guys right here, Egypt Central. Uh, we're gonna take care of a track from you guys. What's the name of it? Taking you down, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Chinatown. What's it about? <laughs> Slam dance in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you a bunch of questions. You can't hear this. I want to have them answer. Craig Ellison at the Daisy has been postponed to August 16th. Again, I repeat, tomorrow night's benefit show for Craig Ellison at the Daisy has been postponed to August 16th. You would have seen Mrs. Fletcher, 1129 reunion barcode in the balance reunion, Egypt Central undecided. Uh, again, postponed to August 16th uh, due to, of course, everything that's going on in the city. Uh, we're not going to be able to get into the Daisy, so it's going to have to be postponed again until August 16th. This means we can't play the music. It's Mrs. Fletcher. It's arcade. It's locals only. 93X. Yeah. Talked about it in the past. It's actually going to happen on the 16th. And uh, if you do not know, Craig um, is a very loved and dear uh, friend of a lot of people in the local scene here. And uh, he suffered a stroke a while back, and it was it was pretty bad. And a lot of the bands, this radio station, myself, uh, Mike Lent, the Daisy, gotten behind to put a benefit show together. I'm joined by one of the bands in the bill. Uh, they are undecided. What's going on, gentlemen? What's How up? You doing? What's up? How you been? Man, doing real well, man, real well. So it's you guys in the bill, barcode, Egypt Central, 1129 yeah. in the balance, and patient zero, if I'm yes, not, not mistaken. Not in that order. Not, uh, that, not in that order, not, but. Not in that order, but yeah, it's going to be a great show. Uh, I like to start the same way by sending my sympathies to Craig's family. He was a great guy, uh, uh, amazing guitar player. I can't, I couldn't say enough good things about him besides that, besides that uh, we just could really 
are all pulling for him, man. All pulling for him. We know he's going to do good. We know he's going to get out of there. We know he's going to be great. But uh, I'm going to get off that so we can get to a lighter note and talk about how good this show is going to be, man. I agree. I think this can turn out to be great again. I, I think it's impressive that a lot of bands have stepped to the plate. Uh, you guys were asked to play. How does that make you feel to play you know, a benefit show for something that's very serious? Well, I mean, it's... It, <laughs> It's all family, man. That's yeah. the one thing that we really like about it. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I haven't seen Egypt Central. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen the... Uh, Patient Zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Patient Zero. But as far as all the other bands go, we've all... If it's if it wasn't undecided, it was our four bands, More Pain, Ink Blot, Leading No Divine Punishment, all of them. You know what I'm saying? We've all... Um, it's like a, it's great, you know what I'm saying? Because 1129 and in the balance, when's the last time you've heard them play? You know, what yeah, I'm saying? exactly, like exactly. And I mean, you're talking about Jacob. I mean, uh, Dirt. You're talking about a lot of d uh, different guys that we just used to share the stage with all the time and haven't had a chance to lately. Uh, we've also got Dingo Fest. You know that's going on. Sure. Everybody's gonna be. I mean, that's 29, be 30, 31st. There. Yep. Uh, of course, you know they stuck us because uh, we are the undecided band. We'll we'll be real. <laughs> Well, we actually scare people now, man, because so. because well, because we'll get up there now. We don't got a system down. We'll get up there, you know. We'll check out what kind of crowd it is, and so, uh, we like to pull uh, a little, you know, give them a little acoustic flavor to it. And sure. And, and they'll think to themselves, "Wow, this is beautiful." And this, <laughs> this, 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 <laughs> and then all of a sudden, just blam, yeah. slamming sure. out on. Sure. Sure. And they're like, you know, sure. this is what we like. And we play. That's why we've chose, you know, this time tonight. You're gonna hear a, a whole lot heavier side of, okay. uh, of us. I mean, I, I, I say actually not even a whole lot. I mean, not near as heavy as our newer stuff. Yeah, yeah, we've got newer stuff. The new album's going to come out real soon. We're working on it as much as we can, but we're Mug taking studios. our time. Mug Studios. Mug Studios. Mug okay. Studios. You guys are going to love it. Work uh, is good. And the price is cheap. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you'll be able to hear about this because even because even the song that we're going to play now, which you'll hear on the radio or coming up, is is like not even, it's still, he, he, he can do like a fourth size better than that, is what I'm saying. Sure, you know what I'm saying? sure. He just progresses with every album that he does and does nothing but get better. Uh, but it, it's going to be coming out real soon. There's going to be a couple ballads like we always do. Like I say, I say ballads, but you know. Uh, there's gonna be there's gonna be a, there's gonna be light sure. song, lighter sure. song. Not much distortion. There's gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Can you hear now? Oh yeah. You can hear now? Oh yeah. Cool. Very cool. Nathan, pull that mic up real quick. Can you hear? No, no, here, no, here, no. Put headphones back on. He's got this. Can you hear now? Is it too loud? It's perfect, straight, cool, very cool. All right, so they're joining me tonight because, uh, as we did last night, we're having a uh, benefit show this Saturday at the Daisy, featuring Barcode, Undecided, uh, Egypt Central, 1129, Reunion in the Balance, Patient Zero, for Craig Ellison, who had a um, stroke a while back, and I think everyone, you know, all the bands are getting together to uh, you know support that and raise money uh, for his family as well as for himself for his medical bills. And uh, the show Saturday night, I think it's seven bucks to get in, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, now. Congratulations to you, Nathan, for having a uh, baby girl, Skylar. Yeah, it's a beautiful baby girl. It's matching my other one. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe that, uh, I mean, you are a father. That's crazy, isn't it? Who would let me do that? You know, who All would? Four. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you all four have kids? All four of us. Wow. Yep. yep. Nathan's right. also a mother. Yes. <laughs> Does he wipe your ass? <laughs> Sometimes. 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 I am the mother and the father. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh I'm not, You know what? This Put that away. Is, I'm just, I'm not even going there with you this evening on that. Uh, you guys have been, you know, pegged. You've been uh, asked to do this event. And uh, how does it make you feel to, you know, to uh, play for a buddy, you know, of all of us, this whole local scene, really? How does it feel to us uh, to up there and try to raise some money for him? Just great, man. Um, of course, he needs it. He's been friends with us for, for quite a long time. Right. Yeah, we're pumped to be able to help. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very yeah. pumped. Everybody come out. Listen. So, I mean, is, from what I understand, so everything... Um, people that pay at the door, all proceeds are going to be going to his family? Or? Everything. 100%. 100%. Everything. Yeah. That's got to be a killer deal. So you guys are ultimately playing for free then? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which is a good which is a good thing, though, to begin with. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, do you anticipate? I'm hoping because, you know, we've talked about this off air before. You know, this is a tough city to play in. 
Yeah. I mean, this is a real tough city to play. And the, the fans here are, you know, they'll make you work for it. I'm hoping, you do, I'm hoping we're going to have a good amount of people there on Saturday night, the Daisy. Man, it should be. It's a, it's a good cause. There are good bands that are playing. So, That's right. You know, I mean, it. If you got, if you don't come out, you know, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's we'll make JP wear a. Uh, what is that, basket on his head and carry a Girl Scout flag? Yes. What yes. is that all about? That's a tribute to Earl. That's a tribute to Earl. So what is this again now? <laughs> a basket on his head and a Girl Scout flag. Right. And he has to on. march. He has to march. And he has to march, right. yeah. Wearing a dress? Oh, yes. Oh, Are yeah. you serious? Oh, yeah. Dead serious. Dead serious. Are you guys like Marilyn Manson fans or something? Oh, no, no. That's what Earl would this, want. This is what Earl would want. <laughs> this is what he... And that's what, it, you know, ultimately, again, well, he's supposed to be there. Right. Yes, I think it's going to be amazing. Right. Does anyone know uh, how he's been doing uh, as far as... Uh, he's doing okay. great. He's been doing, uh, recovering. You're considering the circumstances, you know. He's doing real good, you know, and his family's in good spirits, you know, um, which is a good thing, you know. And uh, we're all hoping the best for him. Can't wait to see him at the show. You know, it's going to be right. one of the best things about the whole deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Good deal. Is that he's there, you know. That's good, you know, and, and I'm going to be there. And I think, you know, again, I, I'm so impressed by the fact that, 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 you know, again, this local scene has really stepped to, to the cause, you know, and stepped to the forefront here to try to make something happen. And, uh, again, major props to uh, Mike Glenn for providing the venue, for, you know, for absolutely for free, which is, you know, which is an awesome deal. Oh, yes. Um, we also got, directly after this, come at the end of the month, we got Dingo Fest as well. Yeah, it's Tommy amazing. Austin putting together a killer show. Yeah. You said you had to name something on air here? What did you have to name? <laughs> well, I had to name him. <laughs> Tommy Rules. Tommy Rules. He's a love machine. He is a love machine. I'm a love machine. machine. <laughs> love machine. What, because uh, I gave you a piece of paper and a pen. Bingo, we oh, yeah. right down over there. Yeah, oh, and we have to, <laughs> we have to tell everybody that the lineup is coming up here. Um, on dingoinc.com if you go there the lineup there's a bunch of information on the show um, I believe the names of the clubs everybody's playing at times so it's like a hundred something that. bands there's like 15 clubs or whatever it's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean it's an amazing thing that Tommy does dude it's, it's, it's a bunch of bands I don't see how he does it to tell you the honest truth he's, got he's to gonna have a heart attack yeah he's got to done. Okay, <laughs> he's asked somebody to come by and shoot him while ago. yeah <laughs> he's the one that I feel this pain <laughs> Do you, uh, you guys are slotted to play that as well, correct? Yes. yes. What day and what venue do you know? Friday night, 9.15, I believe, at the old Daisy. At the old Daisy. Yeah, unless things change. Yeah. <laughs> Which is very possible. Very possible. Tommy likes doing that to us. He likes to, <laughs> he likes to change the lineup. He likes to surprise. <laughs> well, it keeps you on your toes, you know? Yeah. It definitely keeps you on your toes. Uh, gentlemen, again, thank you so much for coming on by to, uh, you know, support this. I mean, this has been a lifelong buddy of yours, so I think it's, you know, it's an excellent thing and again it is this saturday night at the daisy uh it is a benefit for craig ellison uh, featuring barcode undecided egypt central 1129 in the balance patient zero i'll have interviews the rest of the week at nine o'clock with the bands that are participating and uh is there anything else that you uh need to say man well, i'm gonna give a shout out to ppi andy antony patty melt and christy they're in the house they're not playing any of the shows coming up but hopefully soon they will be so Barcode Music like now. Barcode Music dot com. Is that what it was? Barcode Music dot com. Barcode Music dot com. Yeah, October date should come up soon for September. So. Did you just drop a cuss word? I'm afraid that he did. <laughs> yeah, I've already been fined enough as it is. I don't need to get fined anymore. We'll kill it. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do a track. What's the name of the track? Follow. Yes, follow. follow. All right, this is Barcode again. You will see them Saturday night. It is seven dollars to get in for six bands. Benefit for Craig Ellison. Again, featuring uh, Barcode on Decided Egypt Central, eleven twenty nine in the Valley. Patient Zero, get on out, support your local rock. Also support a good cause. It's locals only. 93X, the new rock alternative. Say bye, gentlemen. Bye. We love you bye. all. Hello. Okay, you're on. Good deal. Dirt Boy. What we're having in here tonight is, of course, we're talking in, in very serious fashion, of course, about um, the benefit show for Craig Ellison Saturday at the Daisy. Doors are 8 o'clock on the show featuring barcode on the side of Egypt Central, uh, reunion of 1129 and the balance and patient zero. Is that correct? As far as we know, yeah. As far as we know. And you were in 1129. Right, for about a year. For about a year, okay. And so, uh, uh, so talk, talk to me a little bit about, uh, you know, you've been a, fr a friend of Craig's for quite some time. Me and Craig have been friends for like six years or so, um, probably a little bit longer than that. I hooked up with a band uh, after one of my bands went broke up and they asked me to come in. We took two singers, kind of did the, you know, the Linkin Park thing way before anybody else did. And uh, 
that's about you know that's the gist of it. Uh, Jacob and Craig have been friends for like eight years. They started playing music together, and right. it just uh, it's just it's this good thing to have to do this thing because musicians don't get anything. We don't get any praise. We don't get any money. We we bust our, our butts. Craig dedicated almost eight years of his life, and I think it's a really good thing that these bands that some of them don't know them that are all we're all coming together. People who don't even know them are, st are coming to the show, and I think it's just great. Okay, to recap, kind of, if, if no one knows what we're talking about, uh, a friend along the, among the local scene, uh, Craig Ellison, he um, had a stroke, uh, what was it, about two months ago? Yeah, about two about months two, ago. About two months ago, and uh, basically this uh, benefit on Saturday at the Daisy, uh, it's, I believe it's $7 to get in for six bands. We might have a newly added band in a couple of minutes, I'll find that out. Um, all the proceeds are going to go to his family, his doctor bills, things like that. So how does it make you feel to kind of, you know, I was talking to the Barco guys last night. How does it make you feel to kind of, you know, participate in something like this? It's such a great cause, you know what I mean? It's a good cause, but I wish it was for something different. But it's, right. a, good, it's a good thing that we can actually pull together for musicians because, I mean, like I said, right. a lot of us don't have anything, and it's good together when people can come together. If you don't, even if you don't know any of these bands or anything, just come out. It's a good cause. It really is. I mean, it's, he's a great guy. Uh, he really deserves it. And if, uh, I mean, if I can find it in your heart to do it, then please. Okay. Come on in. Come on in the studio. Is he here? Jacob? No, he's not here. So Jacob will be doing vocals tomorrow night. Yeah, I'm assuming. And Jacob both. Both, okay. So. And uh, describe uh, to me what this band's feel, what the sound is all about. Uh, we were together probably like three, maybe four years ago. So back then it was kind of like the, uh, I don't know, I hate to use the terms, but everybody would say new metal, rap metal, whatever. You know, it's, it's all the same, but... It was, you know, it was something before than what it was, what it is now, and it was cool. It was a very big learning experience to come into a band, being a vocalist myself, and then to come in and be able to have to introduce myself into a band as well. And it was, it was a huge learning experience. And I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't expect anything else from five other guys to, you know, create sure. music. It sure. was great. Okay. Well, actually, here comes Jacob now. Late. You know, late. Come on in. Late, uh, so buddy. Come on late. In, dude. Come on. Get on the microphone. Jeez. Jacob, uh, Craig has uh, been a lifelong friend of you, uh, of yours. And uh, talk to me a little bit about, real quickly, uh, how this makes you feel to play Saturday night for such a good cause, man. Uh, let me catch my breath for a sec. <laughs> I've been trying to get in your building for 10 minutes. Uh, we're doing this benefit show. Of course, everybody knows for Saturday night. Uh, me and Craig, we've been friends on and off playing music for about eight years. Okay. Uh, just had a, a weird accident that just came out of nowhere that just happened. We thought it'd be a good cause. Uh, 1129 was a band that he had that we all put together, say, five, six years ago. And okay. We all became really good friends with everybody, and we just felt like it was a good thing, man, to kind of put this project back together, let him know that... Uh, you know, it's a way of thanking of him. You're <laughs> breathing heavy as you I know, dude. I've been, right. I've been running I mean, you know, all an ass. You know, I've dedicated this time to, to, to this cause because it's Plus, something that I believe in. Plus, he might never be able to play know. music again. So it's right. really good that he'll be able to hear those songs, at least maybe not with him doing it, but with at least us doing it in honor of him. Yeah. That's the whole point right there. He's not going to be able to play again. The fact that everyone's going to come on out, support him, support, uh, you know, everything that's going on. I think that's that's exactly why I'm doing what I'm doing right now for me. You know, and, and I think in this radio station has always stood behind. You know, any local calls like that. So, you know, this is just something great. Again, come on out Saturday night. New Daisy Dude. Uh, do we have a new band added on? You don't know? So, Barcode, Undecided, Egypt Central, 1129, and the balance. Is Patient Zero on the bill still? Uh, they, Patient Zero is actually, that's my new band. That's your new band? And uh, we're just now kind of getting things together. We've been without a bass player for about a month and a half. So, okay. we're not going to be able to do that part of the show, but everything else should be on right now and like i said like he said it's a it's a tribute to him to let him know you know craig wrote these songs about five six years ago like i said and sure. for for him to be out there that night to be able to listen to it to to hear other people doing his thing you know I mean, absolutely it's, it's, it's a good cause absolutely you know? absolutely all, you know he's a good friend he's in our prayers always well, gentlemen, I appreciate you stopping on by. And again, it is Saturday night at the Daisy. Uh, it is $7 to get indoors. Our 8 o'clock. Come on out. Support a good cause. Support local music. You know, pretty much all that in a nutshell. Guys, thank you very much. What's the name of the song we're going to play? You know? Betrayed. Betrayed? It's been remixed, so uh, get your tape recorders recording. <laughs> It's locals only 93X, the new rock alternative. X, the new rock. This music.
Obviously, this is Killebrew and uh, in the studio with me right now, Tommy Austin, Bingo Entertainment, the gentleman from uh, Egypt Central. How's everyone doing? <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you? Right. Uh, Tommy, of course, you're in here. Egypt Central's in here because we've been talking all week about a benefit that we're doing tomorrow night to Daisy. Uh, Mike Glenn has been gracious enough to give the Daisy for free. And, um,. It's a benefit for Craig Ellison, who had a stroke a couple of months ago. Correct. Craig has been uh, an imperative uh, uh, part of this local scene for many years, way before I even got here. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. And uh, as a, you know, a lot of people are going to come out tomorrow night, I think, and a lot of these bands have stepped to the plate to uh, play for free, and any money that is made will obviously will go to... Oh, all so all of the proceeds go to the family of Craig Ellison. So what's going to happen? Is you guys just going to collect all the money and put it into a check or something, or do you know, or... You know, I I don't know. <laughs> Good question. Would you start telling me what you're going to ask me ahead of time so I could actually answer your questions? Dude, Damn. I, have, I have never been good at prepping anybody that I've interviewed in my life. <laughs> That's why everyone leaves here always angry. Uh, I can tell you all the proceeds go to uh, Craig Ellison and his family. I don't okay. know if it will be in cash or check form, but whatever comes in the door money goes order. to them. Whatever. So okay. could be a money order. You never, you know. Egypt Central is headlining this act, from my understanding. Egypt Central is the headlining act tomorrow night. We got Undecided going on first, then we have Barcode, 1129, who's going to do a big reunion show. Uh, Craig was a part of 1129 and uh, uh, in the very integral part of it, and he wasn't in, in the balance as well. Who's not going to be there anyway? Uh, <laughs> Egypt Central will be the headliner. In the balance. Uh, other than that. Uh, <laughs> there you go, man. Doors are 8 o'clock. Doors do uh, open at 8. It's 7 bucks okay. to get in. Uh, it, like I said, all the money does go to Craig and his family. The gentleman from Egypt Central, you've been asked to uh, take on a pretty serious role, I think, here, to try to draw in a crowd to raise money for this. How you feel about the task at hand? Easier said than done. <laughs> yeah, definitely, but excited as well. Yeah. Help Craig, and I've heard an update that he is doing better. He's walking on the cane and talking better. Get up on the mic a little bit so they can hear. He's doing really well now, so... Is, of, from my understanding, though, he probably won't. I could he'll, be wrong. He'll, he'll be there. No, he will. No, no, be no, there. no, he will be there. But from my understanding, he won't really be able to play again. Uh, I'm not sure. You're not 100. I would never give up hope on something like that. That's you know in God's I mean? hands. True. True. Not, not to true. mention, he's been recovering very, very well, and uh, he could he could have a full recovery as far as recovering rapidly. I mean, he's he's young. That, that's why it's such a shock to I think a lot of us. You know, yeah. to have such a I definitely think that everyone should pray for him. Absolutely. 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 I agree 100%. Um, I mean, and the main point is we've got a lot of really good bands that are coming together because they're friends with Craig. We're friends with Craig. Uh, this is something that could happen to any of us, anytime, anywhere. Uh, and we just, you know, we want to support this cat because, I mean, he's, he's been an integral part of uh, the music scene here in Memphis. And everybody in this scene, you know, He's part of everybody's hearts. Absolutely. And, uh, and again, I've, I've been saying all week, I, I, I find it uh, doesn't surprise me, but I find it to be amazing that this scene has stepped forward so strongly uh, to, to support something like this. You know, I think it's amazing. I think it's a great deal. I know? think it's a wake-up call to a lot of musicians, no matter how young or old you are. You know, you know tragic events can happen to any of us. So That's right. Uh, if anything else, it shows the camaraderie between the bands in the area, and that's something that, you know, we've always been, you know, supportive of. It, it's unfortunate this is tragic, something like this, to bring us together. But at the same time, it's really good to see as many people come together and do something good for somebody. Egypt Central, guys, uh, what are you going to bring to the stage tomorrow night? Same thing they always bring and all extra. A the same what? thing we always bring and a little extra. And also, we don't look at it like the responsibility for the draw. We're just honored to be the ones invited to, you know, close this out at the end for of the sure. night. We're we're just pleased to be asked, you know, thanks to Tommy and everything. And, you know, Craig was a great guy, man, and he had a heart this time. He, he is. He is. He is a great guy. I didn't mean it like that. Sure. No, sure, sure. Understandable. Understandable. Um... You know, I wasn't saying earlier that the, 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 the pressure lied on you. I, I think all the bands, you know. I think everybody's out there working really hard. That's it. That's it. all the bands that are in this are out there working really hard because everybody cares, you know, for Craig. Do you guys have swag yeah. for sale to show tomorrow CDs on the day or no? Oh, we're going we're gonna to do some uh, giveaway yeah, stuff we're, on stage. We're going to throw, gonna some, throw some CDs. What are you going to do? Are you going to have anything? Are we going to have anything to give away? Tommy, you know? I haven't just again another question that you didn't throw at me beforehand. Uh, you, know. you are welcome to bring anything you want to throw off the stage, Mike. I don't know if I have anything. I gave everything out of my truck. I had all this autograph Lincoln Park stuff that it was just, just rotting in my truck. Shirts at? Jacob Harlan has them. Jacob, if you're listening, bring this old the box of Zoltan shirts tomorrow night. We'll give them all away. There you yes. go, right there. I'll yeah. lose a hundred dollars in deal. I don't care. <laughs> you know because seven it's, bucks it, to see a great show uh, and free a great Z cause free and Zoltan a free shirt. Zoltan shirt. You know Zoltan. Well, 
Limited quantities. Lim yeah, they're yeah. all, uh, after the first wash, there's no more shirt. <laughs> 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 to be honest with you. Um, are you guys, how many, how long are the sets? You know? Probably. Well, we were originally going, I think, with 30 minute sets, uh, but due to the lineup changes, I think everybody's going to go 45. 45. Yeah, 45. So you guys are going to do a hard 45 minute set? Yeah. Bringing down the house a little bit. What time? Uh, Doors so open at space, 8. So. Probably start the show around 8.30, 8.45. So make sure you're there by 9. If you're there after 9, you're going to already miss the first act. Okay. Very and you cool. want to catch those guys, too, because Undecided's a great band. Oh, yeah. The whole the whole lineup's killer. A lot of it, uh, I've always pegged it as almost like the Metal Fest a little bit, which is very cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> the Mini Metal the, Fest. The Mini Metal Fest. Uh, Dingo Fest 1. Last time I saw 1129 clip. Dingo Fest 1 was the uh, actually the last 1129 show. I was, what, three, four years ago? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll talk soon about is, this, is, this, is, this, is the V5 in Roman numerals? Yes. <laughs> so then you'll fest five. Because <laughs> I thought it stood for virgin or venereal. Uh, right, right. I, you know, and I can understand you know, someone like you thinking that, but no, it's actually uh, the Roman numeral five right. or V5. Okay. You know. And we'll talk. You'll, you'll come back in before at the end yeah, of the we'll, month. We'll, we'll come back on that. that. Well, gentlemen, uh, thank all of you very much for coming on by yeah. tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. You got something to say, Colin? Yeah, yeah real, real briefly, one more time. Doors sure. open at 8. Show's going to start before 9. Uh, we want to shout out to Craig and his family. We want to shout out to Nathan and all his guys running sound for this thing. Mike Glenn for giving us a venue. Uh, all the bands that are playing this thing. Yes. And most importantly, we want to support everybody that wants to come out and support Craig and his family. And I think that's what we're all here about. So. There you be, go. There. be there, yeah, be there, be there. I got to give a shout out to Officer Fetter for helping me out a while ago. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Well, gentlemen, again, thank you very much for coming on by. This is uh, Egypt Central, the track different. It's locals only, 93X, the new rock alternative. Mm -hmm.